and we decrease in the environmental footprint that actually creates burning. So, um, we are mainly focusing on household appliances and uh, furniture. And what we have in our app is the locations of all upcycling and recycling centers. So, if I would like to buy, if I'm someone who would like to buy a refurb refurbished product, I would click on buy and, no, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I'll click on buy, and if I'm interested in this cool refurbished Apple desktop table, I will click on it, and I would not only get the price, but also get what impact I'm making by buying this. And if I'm someone who would like to give away my furniture, say, say like this sofa, I would put my details online and put the tags, um, and I would uh, make a pick up a date because after that I would just you know throw it away. So uh, these four categories are our four customer segments. So, uh, people who are conscious about the cost can uh, uh, buy from us. People who care about the environment can buy from us. Uh, people with uh, social resp responsibility, meaning people who care about uh, unemployed or uh, immigrants or uh, uh, newcomers getting a job, they can uh, buy from us. So they create employment to uh, people who refurbish the products. And also people who want artistic touch and uh, 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 craftsmanship to the product, they can buy from us. So we go <coughs> to Kuncha uh, uh, Garden and, and the Arts, around 20 people, and uh, we uh, wanted to know uh, what their opinion on that. And their opinion inclines with our online survey, which we did. And everyone would like to buy uh, furnitures and books which are burnt 100% in Sweden. We talked to a recycling company and we confirmed this and they uh, burn all the uh, furnitures and books they use. So based on the business model, we source the trash both directly from the customers and from the recycling stations. And then we use the skill set of carpentry, art and so on from the newcomers and uh, unemployed in Sweden. And then we use to refurbish and give the goods a new life. To validate the idea, we already visited a uh, recycling station to see that there is a supply of uh, refurbishable goods, and we're already in touch with Arbets uh, for Medlingen and uh, Refugee Tech to find skill set that we need. And we also did a customer validation where they showed enormous interest in buying refurbished goods, knowing that now the second hand good is going to work under insanitary conditions. So, what's the market size? In Sweden, the uh, furniture market amounts to about 20 billion set a year. And if we can address as much as 10% of this using refurbished goods, that would save 20 million trees just from Sweden's perspective, per year. That's the kind of impact we can have. And how is the supply for refurbishing goods? Actually, the amount of tra uh, trash we have is just expected to double in the next 15 years. So we have enormous amount of input for trash. And we can refurbish enormous amounts of this to, be, uh, to give them another life. So when we 
we were doing the market research, what we found that upscaling is done on a, sim a small scale in artistic workshops and in a community centers. But we have a competitor uh, who is like focused on uh, outside uh, textiles. This is a uh, scope on submission. And now, uh, for good market strategy, we would partner with the uh, recycling and house, uh, housing companies and authorities, and we would do the marketing in the local district communities. We have an amazing team consisting of a team of five, plus a and mentor, Joachim, thank you very much for the help. We have all the skills needed, and the main is that we share the passion for recycling and sustainable living. And you know what? I will ask. We are looking for partners for businesses, recycling companies. So if you know anyone, please talk to us and result on that. But the main is, recycling is sustainable at a cost, but upcycling is sustainable with an impact. Thank you. always said that never make money on someone, always make money with someone. And in our case, we're going to share, it's going to be commission share. So in future, we would like to, apart from just partnering them and uh, try to sell our refurbished goods and furniture in their places, but also the main is, in fact, going through local communities, because we are strong believers in going locally. I mean, Lille Holland or Stockholm Land, Stockholm Commune, Stockholm Land, and then growing bigger. So it's literally word of mouth and uh, leveraging the power of businesses. Also, it is important for uh, the consumer to know that someone has looked at, looked at the product and assured that it is working and it's good to go and it can. It's a kind of a guarantee that we give so that it's working and good. Maybe I missed that part in, in, in the pitch, but um, I understood that this project is also giving employment. How, how does that work? Uh, meaning that we, uh, we enhance the products, which, let's say, for example, if a furniture is uh, slightly broken or if uh, yeah. some part of the furniture is not working, we employ people who have the skills to fix it uh -huh. and also okay. also maybe uh, add artistic touch to the furniture. If it's, a furniture. If it's uh, uh, some electronic, then they can fix something <laughs> and we can fix it. Because we actually like the between. If I have something that I don't like and I would like to get rid of, like all this, right? I go to and it just doesn't work. Yeah. If I have furniture that's slightly broken, I wouldn't bother doing something about it because I don't have skills to hide, right? I would throw it away. And also in Sweden, uh, say for example, I, if I throw this phone, it's not reused, it's recycled, meaning that it's go to material recycling. All the plastic, glass, uh, metal, or the PCBs are separated, uh, separated and then to uh, recycle separately. It's not uh, uh, reused. Yeah, I like to a little bit more about that actually, because the most interesting thing is the upcycling bits. For me, uh, it's not fixing broken things, selling it as, you know, uh, old but thick, but upcycling is redoing it in an artistic way. So how would you source these uh, artists. You know, artists and the carpenters, and, you know, Funny way and how would you work with them, where would you place them? Funny way that it was like the artist was the easiest part, because what I did, I wrote a letter to Kunstpark, a uh, student, uh, student, I don't remember my email correctly, but the funny is uh, I got straight away uh, three answers from students who are uh, actually one two of them are students and the students one of them is Lavney from Kunstpark, who are looking for, first of all, to uh, sharing the same vision as I, like stability and uh, upcycling, reusing things, and uh, secondly, they're looking for jobs. I mean, why not to have to, they like what they're doing, from one side. Another side, they also earn money because they sell goods. Uh, so from us, as we, we figure out, actually, that's not a problem at all. Uh, ideally, I mean, how it would work in terms of warehouse or like places to work. And in the beginning, it will be at their home, house homes. Later on, we're still trying, uh, talking right now to uh, Rad itself, that is a big Swedish uh, recycling company. 
so that we can use uh, their premises for, uh, as a workshop places. And next up, we're going to grow bigger. We're going to rent a big warehouse, we're going to suit everyone. And then we're going to have also a culture of sharing meeting place, you know, where people from different cultures have workshops or communicate, and that will help those who come here to integrate better society. And drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it feels like we did a great job, right? <laughs> <laughs>